On Five News, millions of voters head to the polls to decide the future of the UK. Party leader... Hello and welcome to Five News. I'm Sean Williams. Today's the day, a general election. The third in five years, but one that will define the future direction of the UK. You may have already cast your vote. If not, polls close at 10 tonight. And we should know most of the results by the early hours of Friday morning. Here's Leila Hayes. Just a warning, her report contains flashing images from the start. Police and military in New Zealand are preparing to return to White Island Volcano for the first time since it erupted three days ago. It's first and foremost a recovery mission. It's believed eight bodies are still on the island and rescuers want to return them to their grieving families. The mission is launched as new footage has emerged of tourists on the volcano just moments before it erupted. Danny Sinha reports. Harvey Wine, last week we showed you the dramatic impact climate change is having in Iceland. Dying. Now to one of Britain's most iconic sites, thought to be around 5,000 years old. And for as long as we've been taking photos, we've been taking them of Stonehenge. Now an exhibition is celebrating the history of the stones with pictures of people visiting the monument, including some from 1875. Peter Lane reports. That's it for now. Claire Nazir has the weather for you next. I'm going to be back at five o'clock tomorrow, live from Westminster, with all the latest on the election results. But for now, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.